Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between William Steinitz and Mikhail Chigorin. This is a game from the Steinitz Chigorin World Chess Championship match played in 1889 and this is a game from the round 2. Steinitz had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. If Steinitz played d4, Chigorin would respond with d5 and after c4, guess what would Chigorin play? Chigorin would of course play knight to c6. The Chigorin defense. Steinitz didn't want to test him on this defense yet. Back to our game. Steinitz played knight to f3. Chigorin played d5. d4. Bishop to g4. This position occurred in round 4. And then Steinitz played c4. In this game Steinitz played knight to e5. This reminds popular even in the 21st century. Kasparov played it too. Bishop to h5. White to move. Queen to d3 was played. c4. And g4 are the most played moves nowadays. Steinitz played queen to d3. And this is a clever move. Especially if black plays the most natural e6. Let's see what happens if e6 is played. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Then believe it or not, after this very natural move, white is winning with queen to h3. After bishop to g6, knight takes on g6, and black must recapture with the f pawn. Then the queen takes on a6 check, winning a healthy free pawn. Back to our game. Chigorin played queen to c8, preventing queen to h3. c4, f6. This is actually a very strong move, kicking the knight back. Knight to f3, e6, knight to c3, bishop to g6, queen to d1. Chigorin did well in the opening. c6, e3, bishop to d6, bishop to d2, knight to e7, rook to c1, knight to d7, knight to h4, hunting the bishop, black to move. Instead of bishop to f7, which looks like a very natural move, Chigorin played f5, daring Steinitz to take on g6. If knight takes bishop, h takes on g6, and the file opens for the rook, it is white to move. If Chigorin had a home preparation, he couldn't predict Steinitz's next move. And that is g4. It may not be very strong, but it may be a confusing move. Knight to f6, h3, Knight to e4, bishop to d3. Quite often white likes to play bishop to g2, but this is not the strongest move under the circumstances. The knight takes on d2 and after queen takes on d2, d takes on c4. Back to our game. Bishop to d3, f takes on g4. Castling perhaps should have been considered, but Chigorny had a different plan. He played f takes on g4, and this is the critical moment of the game. h takes on g4 was expected. What is the strongest move for white in this position? Steinitz played the best move. Knight takes on g6. Let's take it back. If h takes on g4, then the one line goes like this. Knight takes on c3. Bishop takes on c3, bishop takes on d3, queen takes on d3, d takes on c4, queen takes on c4, queen to d7, and black is ok. Back to our game. In this position, knight takes on g6, knight takes on g6. What happens if h takes on g6? If h takes on g6, one line goes like this. Bishop takes on e4, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, attacking the bishop. Queen to d7, queen takes on g4, and white is better. Back to our game. Knight takes on g6, bishop takes on e4, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4. Bishop to e7, h takes on g4, e5, d5. Queen to d7, bishop to c3, Rook to d8, white to move. 
rook to h5, c takes on d5, c takes on d5, black to move. Of course, Chigorin considered taking on d5. He castled. Let's see why he don't like queen takes on d5. If queen takes on d5, queen takes on d5, rook takes on d5, king to e2, and white is better. After castling rook from c to h1, h6, f4. If pawn takes pawn, rook takes rook. If rook from f to d8, then f5. White is better. Back to our game. Castling, white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? The best move is not so easy to find. This is the best move. d6. Daring black to take on d6. Of course, bishop takes on d6 is the first move that Chigorin considered. He played queen to e6. Let's see what happens if bishop takes on d6. The knight takes on d6. Queen takes on d6. Queen takes on d6. Rook takes on d6. Bishop to b4. Back to our game. It is white to move. And white made an important decision. Queen to b3. Trading the queen's end. Going for the endgame. For the winning endgame. Let's see how. Queen takes on b3. A takes on b3. And now black must take on d6. Bishop takes on d6. If bishop to f6, then g5. Back to our game. Bishop takes on d6. Knight takes on d6. Rook takes on d6. And white played the obvious. Bishop to b4. This is the move that Stanit saw when he played queen to b3. Rook to b6. Bishop takes rook. King takes bishop. Rook to c8 check. King to f7. Rook to c7 check. King to f6. Rook to f5. King to e6. Rook from f to f7. Blind swines on the 7th rank. Swine is a pig in French. Just kidding. Swine is a pig in the German language. The game continued. Rook to b4. Rook takes on b7. Rook takes on g4. Rook takes on g7. h5. Rook takes on a7. King to f5. f3. Rook to g2. White played a move and black resigned and the move is rook to a6. Chigorin resigned. Is it too early? For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. h4. b4. h3. On the surface, it looks a bit dangerous, doesn't it? e4. Check. King to f4. Rook from g. Takes on g6. Not exchanging rooks. Rook to a3. Threatening check mate. Rook to b1 check. King to d2. Rook to b2 check. King to c1. Rook to g2. How will you continue now? Then rook to g4 check. Black must take. Rook takes on g4. F takes on g4. King takes on g4 defending the pawn intending h2. King to d2. h2. Rook to a1. King to f3. b5. King to g2. b6. Pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Rook takes queen. King takes rook. b7. Random move. Pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. And I guess we can stop here. What a battle. What a battle. What do you think? of this game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.